Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Um, you're going to have three parts, right? The first one is the neck, right? Second one is the body. The third one is the leg, okay? So um, let's take a look uh, when we're going to make a selection, okay? <laughs> the first one, right, uh, we're going to make a selection. You can make selection by select the part that you name it, right? So first you name the next, and then um, you go to that two way. So you can go to the part option and select, make selection, and then on the selection, right, you can create a new selection. New selection, empty alias, make it smooth, and how much better? If the feather zero, does mean no feather at all, zero pixel. It's going to be very sharp, right? But if you want, um, if you think this is, you know, not artificial sharp, you know, you want a little bit, you know, soft. So you might do 0.5 or one pixel. So in this case, I go with 0.5 pixel, you know, right? Make selection, right? And then, the second part, point right? Point 0.5 or point 0.5? Point 0.5, zero point 0.5. And the second part, this one, right? So instead of going to the part option, you also can select the part, right? And then you can select the icon, the matching end icon right here, okay? Below there, by clicking all key, hold, hold down your all key on the keyboard, right? And click it the machine and icon. So you will see this option part pop up, you know. You can do the same thing by going to the make selection in the part option. So now when the part option popping up, right? So you know we have the next selected, right? So now we want to add the body, okay? Add the body. So now that means we have, uh, we're going to use add to selection. Add to selection, and then on add to selection, how much better you want, right? Definitely you want more, because the, the body of the duck is quite soft, right? So maybe not 0.5, so we're going to maybe 2 or 3 pixel, okay? So in this case, I go with, uh, let's say, 3 pixel, okay? 3 pixel and add to selection, okay? Add to selection with three pixel better. And click OK. And now, I, uh, I will have two combinations. One is 0.5 better. And the body is three pixel better. So now, I'm going to add more with the leg, right? So I go to the leg, right? And now I'm going to show you the third way to do that, right? So you can drag this, right, into the selection. So it's going to be, oh, sorry. Uh, I, I select the leg, right, and go to the make selection. And then I'm going to click add to selection, okay? And then the leg feather is supposed to be more than the body, right? If the body you use 3 pixels, the leg maybe you use 5 pixels, something like that. So I go with 5 pixels and add to selection, okay? So now I have the leg, I have, I have the whole duck selected, right? So I want to isolate the duck from the background, okay? So look carefully. Um, Right now, I have this duck layer right there, right? And now, I want to make a copy of this duck on the top of it, right? It's working? Say it's battery low. Oh, battery low. Oh, okay. <laughs> Will it help? <laughs> help it? Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so now, I'm going to throw this duck, you know, on the top of it you know, throw the duck on the top of it. So that means 
what shortcut I'm going to use, extra credit. I just talked not that long ago, like a few minutes ago. Anyone remember what shortcut if I want to make a copy of whatever I select? Ctrl J. Yes, very good. So you raise your hand before you answer, yeah? Conscious. Number one, easy to remember. Okay, Ctrl J, yes. Okay, now look, when I do Ctrl J, right, what happened? I got a copy of the duck floating up, you know, from this background, okay? So, now, okay, look at my duck effect. See? Nice and clean, right? No casting. Look better than, you know, even better than the smart selection, right? Okay, so there are, actually there are so many ways to making a mess, you know. We will discuss that in the future. But for in this particular one, right, I will show you how to fix the, um, how to fix the background first, okay? How to fix the background. So now we got the duck, you know, stand out, right? Perfect. Then uh, I'm going to work with the, the background, you know. This is our background, right? Uh, I'm going to make a duplicate of the background by selecting the layer I want and drag it to the new icon on the layer selection, okay? Drag it to the new icon on the still, uh, layer selection. So it's to make a copy of my dark background. So what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to use the cloning tools or S on the keyboard, the stamp tool, okay, the stem tool, to make the, the cloning, you know, to get rid of the duck, you know, to give the, uh, the background, perfect background. So you press S on your keyboard, S, right? So you go to the rubber stem tool, and on the rubber stem, the idea of rubber stem is you can use the left and the right back end to enlarge and reduce, right? And you also can use the brush tool, okay? The soft edge brush tool or the hard edge brush tool, okay? The idea of using this rubber stamp is you have to define the area you want by press the all key, okay? For example, if I want to clone it from this area, okay? This area. So I press the all key, press down the all key, okay? So now you can see the cursor chain, right? And then I click my mouse one time, okay? And then I go to where is the destination? So somewhere here, right? And then now I start pain. So you see what happened? It's learning from the original spot, right? Can you see? Okay, let me do it again. So now I zoom in, okay, zoom into this area here, okay? So I want to learn from this spot right here, right? And to eliminate, uh, to replace with this spot right here. Okay, so now I select this one by pressing the all key, okay? Pressing the all key and click my mouse, okay? And then I move to where I want to clone, somewhere right here, right? And then now I start painting and cloning. Okay. I can reduce, I can reduce my brush, you know, to make it smaller. Uh, it's a good idea for you to change the sort where you're learning from quite often because you do not want it to repeat as a pattern, okay? If you keep using one sort only, right, what will happen? It's going to look fake because you're going to set it up with, you know, like repeating the pattern. And another thing that I want to in, um, talk about is something called smart, uh, feel with the smart, uh, okay, what is it? Uh, content aware, okay, feel with the content aware. So I select this area here, okay? Let's try that. I select this area, okay? Select the dark area like that. 
and I go to edit. Okay, I go to edit, and I choose fill. Okay, I choose fill, and I fill with the use of something called content aware. Okay, content aware, and you see what happened. The idea of content aware is, is good. You know, when you have something right on the background, it will be smart enough to fill up the background on you know, the spot that you don't want on the same background. Uh -huh. But sometimes it works well, but sometimes it won't. So you have to you know, try that. Uh -huh. Okay, so in this case here, if I like it, I okay. But if I don't like, I undo, okay? I undo. So I go back to use the selection tool to pick that, right? So I can, you know, do it manually. You know, like in painting. Is that fun? <coughs> yeah, something like that. So try to align, you know, the background together. And if it shares some of the light spot, right? It's like you paint, you know, you probably want to. Um, when you press the, um, when you press the numeric keypad, right? The number on it. For example, if you press five, it's become 50%, okay? So if you press 10, it's become 10%. So in case you want to soften your brush, right? You can use those shortcut. For example, now it is five, so my brush is become only 50%, okay? So it will be mixed. Like that. So now I press zero, it's become 100% again. Okay, so now you can see what happened. My background, right, the duck gone. So, it give me my duck right here, right? That's the new duck that I have. So now I can, basically I can animate my duck allow, you see? My duck can, you know, running allow the grass, something like that. Uh -huh. But next week, we're going to fix the leg. So make the duck really run, you know? With the shaking head and also smiling lip or, you know, shaking butt or something, right? Okay, so any question? No, right? Okay, take a break. Yeah, thank you.